Welcome back to the Queen of the Sun Grown YouTube channel from seed to harvest, autoflower kitchen experiment. So these autoflowers are almost four weeks old. I would say that two out of five are doing exceptionally well with three of them doing so-so. Today we're gonna talk about humic acid and azospirilla bacteria. So I've gone ahead and I have a five gallon bucket filled up about halfway with two and a half, two gallons of water. Um, this is untreated tap water from my house, city of Spokane. I've gone ahead and added this full humix, which is a combination of fulvic and humic acid. So by adding this to our tap water, we're gonna be able to tie up chlorine, things that are detrimental to the health of your plant. They are used to kill bacteria and contaminants in our drinking water but they are not great for plant health. So by adding a humic and a fulvic acid to your tap water, you're able to tie those up so your plants don't take them up. We can get into humic and fulvic on our Thursday night live stream. I'm gonna keep it short for y'all today, but I've gone ahead and also added this azospirillum bacteria. So this is an interesting type of bacteria. Um, it's commonly associated with grasses, fast growing species, and the cool thing about it is that it is actually able to fix atmospheric nitrogen um, without any type of legume. So we've probably, you've probably heard of rhizobia. Those are the type of bacteria that have a relationship with peas, um, anything in the pea family really, and they are able to fix atmospheric nitrogen by storing it in root nodules. Well, these are free living bacteria that are able to take the nitrogen from the air and turn it into a usable source in the, for a plant in the soil. So the nitrogen cycle is pretty freaking awesome. Nitrogen as a gas is all around us in the atmosphere. And the way that we get it into our soil for plants to use is through green organic matter, right? So this contains all kinds of nitrogen in it. Um, but we're also able to pull out atmospheric nitrogen from the air and store it in our soil through different types of bacteria, one being the rhizobia with the pea species. The other is this uh, azospirillum. There's a few other species of bacteria that also can do this. Um, but interestingly, lightning. When lightning strikes, it stores atmospheric nitrogen into the soil wherever it strikes. So pretty cool, fun fact. As you know, nitrogen is super important for plant health, and with our short life cycle of our autoflower plants, we wanna ensure that they're getting adequate amount of nitrogen. These plants really have not been watered very much because it's not very warm in my dining room. Um, you don't wanna wa over water. That's like the number one problem I see gardeners running into. So I've really only watered these about once a week. By adding some of this bacteria, I'm gonna be able to pull atmospheric nitrogen and put it into the soil without actually having to water them. So this is a really good bacteria to ensure is in your container gardens. Um, when you're growing outdoors, there's a wide variety and diversity of bacteria. And I wouldn't be so concerned about adding it into an outdoor garden, but when you're in an indoor garden, um, it's a good idea to try to inoculate with specific species like the mycorrhiza from the last episode or this azospirillum in this episode to make sure that they are there in your medium because this is man-made. This is not soil. This is a potting mix that is mimicking soil. So we've got our fulvic humic to tie up chlorine. We have our azospirillum mixed in there and of course a little bit of that yucca root extract to act as a surfactant also a really good food source high in sugars for bacteria so i hope you learned something if you did hit like subscribe and share turn on notifications and i will see you on thursday for our live stream to discuss anything and everything it's ask me anything um, within reason obviously and Good luck. I hope that this has inspired you to grow autoflowers yourself. I know that I'm having a great time in the kitchen growing autoflowers, minimal inputs.